you for taking the question. Am I okay to speak to you? Yes, no problem. Uh, I read recently about uh, a group of indigenous women around uh, Lake Titicaca doing great work uh, to kind of protect the uh, local people systems. Um, I wonder, in your view, what, what role do you think indigenous people can play in this uh, climate crisis and discussions? Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for your question. You know, recently, uh, indeed, uh, last Saturday, we had a bilateral meeting with President Pedro Castillo and all the ministers. We talked about the Titicaca Lake and what, as a country, we can do about the problem we are facing, both countries, in trying to clean up the Titicaca Lake uh, make it safe all, all the uh, rivers and lakes that are related because it's not only Titicaca Lake, it's also Popo Lake, you know, which is in the Bolivian territory. And uh, we are facing a huge problem because there are communities, there, you know, there is no water in the lake, and many indigenous people you know, live there for many, many years, even after, before the Spanish came to South America. So we are trying to do it in a, you know, in the best way with uh, both countries' effort, and uh, we are we have just the plan to do it. And we are going to start as soon as possible. But it's a Bolivia and Peru effort to do it. We are not receiving any money, any help from any other country, and. Uh, for us, the indigenous people are the main issue in the climate change. The most affected people in, in all over the world are indigenous communities, indigenous people. So for us, it is important to include like people, not only, uh, you know, as we were talking to many uh, investors or people dedicated to environmental and all over the world, talking about fishing, they are talking about forest. They are not talking about people. I mean, we think that the main uh, focus of our policies should be indigenous people, should be people. 